Welcome back to Unique Mobility. It's a great day here because last night we got the motor spinning in this car for the first time in over 14 years. So this is the original controller and we have it jerry rigged up here. We also got two other controllers working yesterday. So now we have three total working controllers. This is the story of what we did. This is the original controller that came in this brown car. It was separated from this car uh, approximately uh, 14 years ago when Jim McCullough took it for repairs. Partially way through the repairs and the previous owner didn't want to pay for them or something like that happened and the project was abandoned. But luckily, it was maintained in good condition. Jim McCullough returned this controller to me and he helped me with some repairs to it. These are some of the parts that I've replaced. When Jim McCullough originally diagnosed this controller, he started testing these transistors. In the controller, there's 80 of them. There was one here that was bad and one here that was bad and Jim thought that potentially more could be bad on these strings. This is also one of the logic circuits, one of the drivers, and he tested that this diode here is bad and these resistors are all bad. They should be much brighter colored than they are. He also tested all these transistors and found that this transistor here is bad which is on the same string as um, one of the worst sets of resistors. So potentially this module here could be repaired and I intended to repair as many of these parts as possible to keep these cars going as long as possible. Um, we keep finding more and more owners. So we pulled known good ones out of this controller, the parts controller. So far this has been more like a normal car, it's just nuts and bolts and swapping parts. Try to shift to neutral quickly. Gotcha. And uh, it won't regain it through neutral. Clutch in. Well, yeah, put all these little tiny screws on. Oh, well, that's something, <laughs> that's something left to do. Left to do now, but try it. Wow. It's all done with the <laughs> You're a metric only guy? Yeah, I've only, only had Japanese cars. Yeah. <laughs> My Jeep has both. <laughs> oh, I, I misheard you the first time. You said Jeep. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said your teeth. <laughs> Maybe you've already seen it. I was wondering what these two connectors went, and I realized it was the field circuit we took off. Oh, yeah. Well, you must have taken that off, because I didn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Better make a note of that. Must be sitting around on this. So this is that connector that I was talking about? Yeah. And it just goes into this little gauge. Gotcha.
choke down there. I don't know exactly what a choke is, but it's like a big coil or something. It's all the way down there. And it runs the wire through that and then it goes to the motor. <laughs> now, we introduce the light bulb. The light bulb of testing. Because the light bulb will blow before the controller blows. That's the theory. Light bulb. Minus two, minus that one here. Looks like the connection. We didn't interfere with anything back there yet. Nope. Okay. We aren't getting the flow. It didn't seem to want to drive. The no. armature top was off, the power on was not there, the high voltage was kind of dim. Okay. That's a problem in general. But I'm going to say try the keys briefly one more time. Yeah. No green, no armature, just high voltage error. Okay. The three pots in there. One's high voltage, one's 80 volt, and one's 75 volt. Mm -hmm. And the high voltage triggers at 100, over 120 volts. The adjust, adjustable pots? Yeah. Well, okay. something. Let's see if there's smoke. Okay. All right. Ready? Here we go. Clutch off. Pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Try it without the light bulb now? Yeah, let me just try it briefly here. Okay, we're, we're lacking something. It comes down to a certain RPM and then it, it decreases at a different rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that. It regens the base speed and then it has to coast down from there. I'm sure, I won't get to 6,000. Whenever it starts screaming, I worry about it. That noise, the scream? Brush noise. Stuff you don't hear when you drive down the road. But... Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the cool girl. All around that idea. That was a fun night we had uh, with all the guys there, all the EV enthusiasts, um, the electric enthusiasts, Jim McCullough offering his uh, guidance and extreme technical knowledge about the details of the car and the inner workings of this Solec controller, which is uh, fully analog. Remember, there's no digital parts on this car. So um, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking through it. In the next video, what I'll be doing is uh, taking the wheels and tires off. I'll be checking out the suspension and brakes, seeing what I'm working with. And you know, we're gonna have to get this car on the road. So obviously it needs a new windshield, tires, brakes, suspension, lights, turn signals, bumpers, all that good stuff. So stick with it. We got a running and driving car, folks. Now we just gotta get it on the road. So stay tuned.